right up your alley, Richard. Marna writes that she's seen frost on our air conditioning unit and she wonders what's up. Well, it gives us a chance to review just how an air conditioner works. Any properly installed air conditioning system has to have two important components perfectly balanced. One is a cooling coil inside the indoor unit. So this is an A-coil, it's called an A-coil right here. It would sit on top of a furnace and air would blow up through it. And now that heated air that comes from the building to be cooled comes up through here through this coil. You see this? And then there's this refrigerant piping right here. Inside this piping is a refrigerant that is brutally cold when it's running. So now the air that's coming across is really warm. Heat gets absorbed into the refrigerant. Right. Now it has to be carried outside through this refrigerant piping to a condenser outside that has a fan, another coil outside, and the process is reversed. Now, instead of absorbing heat into the refrigerant, we're going to run a fan and reject or dump the heat to outside, thereby leaving colder refrigerant working its way back in the building. Now, those two pieces have to be perfectly in balance, and there has to be proper airflow on both of them. So does improper airflow put one of them out of balance? Absolutely. So think about the indoor unit. Now, this is a filter that would normally be right here. On the, on the a unit like we're talking about, it would be down here. So now, if you've got cat hair or pet hair, what's going to happen? It's going to get clogged on that filter. I mean, look at all this. You can just see the piles right. of dust. So that, so that stops the air from coming through here at the Correct. rate it should be. Less air coming across here, what's it going to mean? This really cold coil with not enough heated air going across it, the humidity that's in that small amount of air going across will now have no choice but to freeze mm. on the coil and make a block of ice. And you'll have this complaint where the fan's on, but I don't have as much air, and I'm just not cooling because it's not in balance. You've blocked some of the cooling power of this coil. So dirty filters on the inside right, will right, reduce airflow. Right. What reduces airflow outside? Outside, it could be uh, leaves, it could be some of the droppings that come off of trees down the south, there's kudzu, all this sort of pollen and kind of stuff. And what you do is you've got to make sure you carefully clean that coil. Now there's coil cleaners, you've got to use a gentle vacuum with a brush. There's little tools that can actually clean these little tiny fins. You see the, the fins are unbelievably fine. So you don't want to do anything to damage right. those fins. You need airflow to pass through this uh, r relatively fine aluminum coil. And that's why we've heard you say, you know, cut the bushes away, you know, take that vegetation yeah, away absolutely. from the whole thing. Let airflow come beautifully through this coil and let heat leave this condenser outside beautifully. Make sure there's airflow on both sides. So there are times when you tell us that um, units are simply just just oversized, and that causes this freezing it's to happen. It's the biggest problem in the entire comfort industry. People, you do a heat gain calculation and it says, I need a two-ton unit, and people will put in a three-ton, and the consumers are just as guilty. They'll say, okay, a three-ton sounds better because they think bigger is better. But if we've done our job as professionals, the size of this unit would make it be that on the hottest day of the year, the air conditioner would never shut off, mm -hmm. right? And then in anything less than the hottest day, it would be, it would be on proportionally. Now it means that with it oversized, the thing comes on, it gets so cold, it satisfies the thermostat that quickly and it shuts off, so it, but it doesn't dehumidify. Right. An air conditioner is nothing but a glorified dehumidifier. As that air comes across and there's humidity in it, it has no choice but to drop out to a, a pan right here and be removed. And when you're drier in your air, you're more comfortable. So in looking at Marna's letter here, I mean, she had a working system for right. a long time, right. and then it stopped working properly. So right. I don't think sizing is an issue. She right. had a change of conditions. So if, she's probably if, I, if there's a blocked return air filter, there's a really good chance that this coil starts to freeze. It could just be half of it. Guess mm -hmm. what? You're going to have half the cooling power. So it could be as simple as, simple as that. So she should think about changing her filters, changing this. making sure there's nothing blocking right. the outdoor unit. And if it's not those two things, the only other thing it could be is a lack of refrigerant. A small leak in the refrigerant would make this thing not cool properly, and that would be a, for a pro. Well, that's why they write us, so that we get good <laughs> answers like that. Thank you. All right. Stay cool. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.